Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another sequence video. This one is in Daniel 12. So I've done this um, already. You know, I just um, took a section of it and then um, I referenced this, um, these set of verses quite a bit. Daniel 12, 11, 12, and 13. But, um, you know, I just thought I would go through the whole, the whole chapter and then it again loops the sequence three times. And so this is very similar to Matthew 24, which I did a live stream on recently where and second Ezra, you know, and 15 and 16 and all that were looping, you know, the sequence over and over again. And um, it's amazing. And so, you know, I just um, figured I would just add these uh, to the collection as well. And then they have, you know, references to other parts of the Bible, which I'll show again that it's the same, you know, narrative everywhere. Daniel 12, and at the time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. So this is saying that this is the maximum amount of trouble that God will bring on the nation of Israel. Okay, and then not all Israel is of Israel. So it's just referring to God's elect, which is going to be delivered in this verse. And I'm about to read. So this is the most trouble that has been brought on the elect ever okay and then that's the time that they're going to be saved out of and so just know that uh, the main reason that this would be the most trouble that they've ever been in is that this is the generation where they have not even known that god existed okay because of the spinning ball earth and then <clears throat> they're going to be scattered you know throughout the four corners of the earth according to jeremiah 31 8 and many many verses but, uh, you know, that just know that, okay, that's a big part of this trouble because in past generations, I'm not saying that they've had a great life, but they've always known that God exists, okay, and then they're, that they're Israelites. And so, you know, that's not the case, you know, in the last days for, I would assume, many of them, you know, until they were sealed, you know, in which, which we're going to get a reference to that in Daniel 12. So, and then ultimately... The main trouble is the mark of the beast because, you know, it has to be out to some percent before Christ returns, you know, and we know that because of Revelation 16 too. And so um, that's the reason because they're being required. And the thing that's also unique about this is, again, the elector scattered, you know, in all nations. And so uh, they're going to be in all different parts of the world. And so... This is a unique time ever because the earth, the entire earth has never been under that kind of trouble at the same time. Okay. And so that's a very, very unique situation that is very clear that we're living in that right now. And so that's important for the Bible to be true is that there has to be a narrative that is quote unquote troubling all nations, you know, on earth simultaneously. So they all complain, you know, it's not like half of them are living well. Then the other half, you know, then they'll be like, well, what's the big deal? Why are you here? Kind of thing. You know, I'm able to keep the law. Everything's fine. You know, what's going on? They're, they're all going to be like the souls of the just complain continually in Second Ezra. And so um, 1673. And so, um, or sorry, um, Second Ezra. Um, uh, I believe it's 15.8. And so, uh, you know, this is a good verse that I read a lot and so this also is uh supporting the fact that the entire earth has to be you know in the same amount of trouble second ezra 15 8 i'll hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit neither will i suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves behold the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually so you're gonna know who the elect are by the fact that they're complaining continually Okay, and then they're everywhere on earth, so they're going to be complaining about their government. Okay, and so just know that. Okay, and so that's um, this trouble that has never happened at the same time, you know, with all of the elect. Okay, and so that's, um, that's what's being stated here. Okay, everyone shall be found written in the book. Okay, and then so what's that a reference to? Well, if you read, and I've done many lessons on this, Revelation 20, okay is talking about the final judgment, okay? And then the final judgment is for uh, those not written in the book of life to be cast in the lake of fire. Revelation twenty twelve. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened. 
which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. Okay, so there's one book of life, and then there's all these other books which log all the evil that God's left hand side are doing. And the sea gave up the dead which are in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which are in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. Okay, and so they go up for their final judgment. Okay. And so that's happening in the last days, okay? And so all of God's left-hand side is going to be delivered up, requested up by the Most High, and then they're going to be brought down to earth. And so that's why that time after this deliverance is going to be the most evil, the Great Tribulation, because God is then going to put all of those souls on his left-hand side on earth to receive their final judgment, which is like a fire. And then his body and soul are going to be destroyed. And so that's why this reference comes up next. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life. The dead in Christ will rise first and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Okay, which is what I just read in Revelation 20. And so, you know, that's, uh, that's what happens. Okay, after the elect are taken away. Uh, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel. Okay, this is that reference to Michael. And with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Okay. So 1 Thessalonians 4.16 and Daniel 12 and everybody saying the same thing. Okay. Why is why are people out there not saying the same thing? Okay. Because they're Satanists. And so Daniel 12.2 is stating the exact same thing. You know, as Daniel, as uh, 1 Thessalonians 4.16 and what I just read in Revelation 20. Okay. So that's amazing. Okay. So now there's, the earth is now going to be, put in, uh, under a time of a great tribulation, okay? God's wrath is coming, and then the elect are saved out of trouble, okay? Um, verse 3, And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever, okay? And so now that's a coded reference for the kingdom. And so who are these people? Matthew five nineteen, Whosoever therefore shall break one of the least of these commandments and teach men, so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do them and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, and that's Matthew 5, 19, that's 24, 44, talking about God's elect. And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Okay, here is wisdom, count the number of the beast. Okay, God's elect know what's going on. Okay, and so uh, in those first three verses, we have, you know, the sequence. Okay, perfectly. You have salvation, then you have a time of, the final judgment ending with the lake of fire and then you have a reference to the kingdom okay so that's amazing so now we're going to go through the sequence again verse four but thou o daniel shut up the words and seal the book okay god's elect are going to be sealed in the last days and the most important thing that they're going to be able to know now after they're sealed is you know the how the book of revelation is to be ordered okay and who the two witnesses are as well and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Okay. Play on words about knowledge. Know the ledge. Know the edge. Okay. But, uh, and discovery, discovery. Um, there's many, many words like that. And I remember a long time ago, I found a list of all of them that encode, you know, that we live on a flat plane. But um, knowledge shall be increased. Okay. And then that's one of them that we do not live on a spinning ball or anything like that. So that's... Uh, you know, prior to salvation, okay, seal the book, okay, even to the time of the end. And so, um, by my understanding, I'm proving that we're in the end times, okay. And so that's why, I, you know, again, I have hundreds, 230 or something sequence videos, but God is making it clear. He's just, he's looping it over and over again, even within the chapter. And so, you know, it's fun. So, um, you know, now, um, uh, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Verse 5, Then, Dan then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there, uh, there stood other two, the one on the side of the bank of the river, and the other on the side of the bank of the river. So now we have this man clothed in linen, and then we have two men on the side. This is a coded reference to Christ returning, okay, with Moses and Elijah. Two men, okay. Not two nations, a bunch of retards. Okay, or anything like that. Okay, and so that is a reference to Christ's second coming. Okay, in Daniel 12, verse 5. Then I, Daniel, looked, and so in the last days, Daniel is going to be on earth. Okay, and then the, all eyes will see him. So he'll look up and be like, that's what it is. Okay, Revelation 1 7 and Acts 1 10 to 11. 
And so let me read that again. Then I, Daniel, looked and behold, there stood other two, the one on the side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river. So there's a river and then two banks on each side. OK, and then the middle is Christ. OK, this man clothed in linen. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall it be till the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, times and, and a half. Okay, this is that 1260 days in Revelation 11 of the time of the two witnesses. Okay, and, uh, and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. Okay, so God's elect um, are scattered. Okay throughout the throughout the earth okay and then he's recombining the elect and the mixed multitude okay ultimately and then those are the that's the group that's going to be in the kingdom all these things shall be finished okay so from that point from christ returning okay with his two witnesses and then the elect are taken away and the two witnesses are brought here there's going to be like it says here a time times and a half 1260 days okay three and a half years and then that's going to be the great tribulation okay the wrath of god Okay, and then next, so now we have another consistent reference to the sequence, of course, and then Revelation 11. Verse 8, and I heard, but I understood, but I understood not. Then I said, oh, my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? Okay, so now it's after that is the end. Okay, and he said, go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. So now we have a reference to after that 1260 days is the wrath of God. Okay, and it's a 30 day period, which we're going to get an understanding in these next few verses. But after that uh, time, time, times and a half, it's, it's the end. Okay. It's a translation in kingdoms, which is what's described in Revelation 11. So um, Daniel, uh, what verses here from four till nine, go through the sequence again. Okay. Salvation. Okay. Cr sorry. Uh, the elect being sealed. Okay. Like it says here, seal the book even to the time of the end. Okay. So there's a check sealed. Then. Uh, then we have a reference to a man clothed in linen with like two men on his side. Okay, that's the two witnesses, Moses and Elijah. Okay, and then we have a reference to times, times at half a time, 1260 days. Again, exactly according to Revelation 11. And then we have a reference to the end. Okay, and then after that is the end. Okay, so there we have the sequence again. Now, Daniel 12, 10 to 13. This is the one I, I've done a video on again, but I'll just do it again here. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. Okay, so... This is the time that, um, you know, this is the group, uh, the elect that are going to be tried, okay? And then saved, you know, during this time of trouble, this time of tribulation, prior to the great tribulation, the wrath. Okay, uh, Second Ezra sixteen seventy three. they shall be known who are my chosen and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire, okay? And so uh, this is talking about the chosen. So uh, right away, you know, right off the bat in Daniel, we get a reference to, um, you know, the, the chosen. In Daniel 12, verse 10, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Okay. And so this is the elect. Okay. Uh, being sealed. Okay. Cause they're going to understand, um, because they were sealed. Okay. And then only the elect will understand the Bible. Okay, that's why I make the claim that, you know, I'm one of them. Okay, because no one else makes any sense. And it's like, it's very obvious to me that what I teach is true, because I'm just literally reading from the Bible. And then it's very obvious that what other people are teaching is not true. Okay, so, uh, okay, so Daniel 12, 10, that's the elect being sealed. Okay, now 11. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, this is a coded reference to the elect being taken away because they are the priests who used to do the daily sacrifice, okay? And so they're taken away, okay? And the abomination that make a death let set up, there shall be 1,290 days, okay? So what's this um, extra 30 days coming from? Because we just read a time, times, and half a time. And so this comes from uh, Zechariah eleven eight, okay? And so, uh, you know, this is, uh, again, I've mentioned this many, many times, but it doesn't hurt to just go over it again, just to understand... Uh, you know what it is but uh you know it explains the extra 30 days that's tacked on to that 1260 and so um zechariah 11 8 explains that um 
after the great tribulation period, you know, of the two witnesses, there's going to be a 30 day period of the wrath of God where Christ returns with all of his saints. Okay. To um, destroy everybody who has the mark of the beast. Sorry, this is taking a long time to load. Um, Zechariah 11, 8, three shepherds also I cut off in one month, 30 days. Okay. And my soul lulled them and their soul also abhorred me. So God has programmed them to hate him. And that's his entire left-hand side. Okay. And so that's a cleanup, you know, of the, of the entire earth. So that's where the extra 30 days comes from. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred five and thirty days. Wait, what's this 1335 now? So there's another 45 days, if you read the book of Second Ezra, where God is going to visit a group in Arzareth, okay? And he's going to perform miracles for them because they've made a distant journey and they're going to be making that journey back, okay? And so that's that extra 45 days. Blessed is he that waiteth, okay? Verse 13, but go thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. So this is also supporting that Daniel's here on this earth right now, somewhere, the spirit of Daniel. Okay, and he's going to look up and then see Christ's return with his two witnesses, just like he's written that he's, uh, you know, prophesying it, you know, obviously inspired by God. And so he's going to see these things. And so, like it says here, stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Okay, so his soul is back here right now. Okay, and then he's going to see the very words that he's written you know, what God ascribes to written. So it's an amazing thing that Daniel 12 loops over the sequence three times. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.